Okay. Hey, at least there's music playing. I was able to get that right. Okay, so... Today... Hey. Big day. Very big day. Um... So, I, I, I don't want another machine that I have to flip over to get the LG. I, I, you know, the switch wire, yeah, I, you have. 0.4, don't have to, but it, it would be awkward. But with this, I think it's going to be quite straightforward set it up so that I can just pop piece off here get to the electronics and I've sort of set up a, a set up something here I, I've done other a, a few other things in the last two nights um, but I've got a breakdown of what I want to do here um, I think I'm, I'm about this we're gonna see about that but basically I want to split the electronics 90 degrees I actually don't know if it's 90 degrees maybe I'm yeah um, so in order to do this I've had to change a couple things and create a few so the first thing I had to do was create some hangers. I've got some hangers for the um, for the DIN rails. So that's the first thing you'll see here. Um, the next thing that might not be so obvious, this is different. Um, because the, where, you're, where the hangers hang, there was no way to sit a piece of sorry I got stuff away. Um, there was no way to sit a piece of acrylic down. So that wasn't working out too um what it did they went with the same thing that the guy who did the front ones did. Um this is another mod for um inverted inverted uh, electronics but not rotated so the problem was it relied upon these being a, things being attached here with somewhat different and these were for, for something else um, and they had braces across. So I, I didn't go with that. Hey, scroll brain. Welcome to the stream. So yeah, I, I didn't go with that. Um, I like the idea. But what I did instead was I made a new brace for the back or I, I adjusted the existing brace for the back. So now I can take my electronics cover still have some stuff to work on um, and I can just drop it in I'm pretty sure I, I don't know why there's no bow in there but I, I, I suspect I do I think it's a bad package but uh, I can get rid of it but there that would be the the ideal situation is I can just drop that in there and all would be said and done to take it out same thing but of course the problems occur with the pieces that are attached so I've gone and made some adjustments like the original pieces well, best example um, use it anyway they, they basically fit in the corner like 
Um, and what I've gone and done is I've created uh, basically pieces that I can just use. Uh, tape um, put on to the acrylic do the same whoops do the same thing um, provide the same function and then I've separated out the mount so it provides the same function these may need to change I have found that I might have to just take the sides off and just cover. Um, the other thing, of course, is this. I'm gonna go get a, uh, gonna find some place that'll either cut me. I don't think you cut glass like this. Of course, if I drop some glass, it'll shatter. Hey, Meganico. Welcome to the stream. So, so that's the idea for this is just to have a fully lit up electronics bay, um, LED lighting, easily removable. And the more I look at these, the larger they look. I, I'm, I'm thinking I could probably reduce them just to what's needed. So that they only cover the holes that, that they require to cover. Yeah, I might do that, but that that's no big deal. And then, I uh, see I realized another problem now when I was putting this in was that taking this out, those things on there would be very difficult. But hey, how, how many times are you gonna have to access the other? Right. Um, the other thing I've done because just because is I have gone and I've done a little trim and paint job on the uh, 24 volt supply. I painted on you no. Know, these are sort of like cooling, so I didn't paint those. And then everything else is just quite kit. Um, these these are my own. These did not come with the kit. The Vividino, the v Vividino, or whatever. The Formbot other company kit. Um, the further I get in, the more disappointed I am that I allowed myself to buy it. You know, I had I had one good form, but my 2.4 was good. I thought. Um, my um, 0.1, not so good. Even though my prints better. Everything I did was better. The printer is just not as good. I'm not, I'm gonna say that's not all Formbot's fault. Part of it is, but the company I ordered the extrusions from, one of the extrusions, that didn't work out well. For me. So today, we got to skip a whole bunch of stuff. And First thing I need to do today is I need to put the bottom on. Like the bottom, the fray, the, the skirt, everything. Oh, and then these were painted as well. And so the bottom's not 100%. Wow, the top looks beautiful. That took, uh, that took an hour of sitting there sanding them. Try to get that coating off. It seemed to be coating. 
Maybe it's a coating so they won't rust, but they won't rust with this on it. So, let's flip this over. Oh. Let's flip this on its side. Okay. Um, not sure where this is in the instructions. So basically, I want to put the skirt on. Our wiring. Wow, page 260. Okay. So this is where we are. Now I noticed immediately that this is the two point, uh, the, the R1 kit because of the uh, screw in fan mount. I don't have those yet. And all that means but until I do, I won't be putting the fans. In. I'm not. I'm not gluing the fans. In. Hey, I'm not doing that. So for right now, we'll prep these and put them on. So let's get rid of the power supplies. So the goal today is basically to have all that mounted. Let's hope this works. Heat coming off it. Good, it works. I asked if it was on last time. So I was kind of concerned. So as I get closer and closer to putting this on, I'm concerned about it more and more. This holds the panel on. I guess we don't have the panel right off. 
code. Take them off. Just swap it. This is done. That's it. Right. I'll have to. If not, I might even have to create some other. Action. Not any on there. Done on the side ones, one on the stone jack. I almost wish you had three K stone jacks. Hey, you got you got your uh, your USB, your network, and external power. How are you supposed to power up a uh, uh, MMU? Have external power. <laughs> Probably a ridiculous thought. Yeah, that's my thought. They are ridiculous. Wow. Um, yeah. Okay, so. This all goes on as normal. Really? Yep. Really. This is really gonna start to make this look more complete. So that's finished. I'm not putting the stone covers in there.
Okay. M3 nuts. Which, you know, we love so much. I guess we love them more than M5s. Destroyer. That didn't work. Try it again. Just like throw it in there, see what happens. These are gonna take what type of screws? Create. Toodles. So, this one, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing very few places to attach the bottom panel. That kind of concern. This is what we're relying upon. It's a good attachment to the bottom panel. So I have to admit, none of the weights. Not relying upon it to hold anything up. That's the best bet. So yeah. Um I have a new not a new unused, call it. And race rabbit carrot. Normally I'd want to build that stuff myself, but, um, I'm just taking it off. I'm going to set it up. I might, I might take it apart, cut it down to like three or four, um, 
basically set it up on an AV. properly. That why I feel like that. I'm, I'm just thinking maybe I should just go right for the back. Out. I should probably go outside and play. You're not going to build a printer like that now, are you? Attitude for that. Side. So, you know, now that I've got three bronze, everyone, you know, the 2.4 is an industrial machine. It's not, not pretty, never meant to be. Um, didn't really, wasn't thinking to make it really nice. The, uh, the 0 0.1, I thought, okay, well, here we go. Let's make something a little bit nicer, so. I, I did a, a green, white, purple theme, sort of a, I don't know, it was, I always associate green, white, and purple. Yeah. Some of the look in Horizon, green, white, purple. Mic audio choppy, what's going on with my mic? Oh, maybe I, oh, oh, thanks. Um. I might be. That's you. That pair of I think the uh, noise cave is uh, high. High would be better. I'm a quick save. Instead of just leaving it. Thanks, girl. So, um, yeah, exactly. Suppression. I've, I've, uh, I've seen you in, uh, in Nero's and uh, Nero and Steve's, Steve's streams. Oh, I haven't seen, but you know what I mean. Hanging out there. Now, what am I trying to do here? I'm trying to get the side pieces in. So, yeah. Once I get that in, I'm going to see if that, if those rails will mount properly. Now, I do have two different sets of mounting brackets, but I have a, a funny suspicion that one of them is just 
too low. And we'll actually rub against the um, rub against the din rail, uh, the uh, the bottom. Where's my brain? It will rub against the bottom plexiglass or acrylic, depending if you're going brand name. But yeah, what I am really hoping though, and I'll have to call around, it would be nice if I could just send somebody that that file for the uh, layout of bottom plate, have them cut it in glass. It'd have to be tempered though. That's why I don't think it's really possible. Because it would be awesome just to have a, instead of that black acrylic, I just did that backwards. Yeah, I just did that backwards. Hi, Dom. Um, yeah, so that I really want a glass plate, but just some of the way the way it's cut. I don't I just don't know. It will be an investigation to take place. Oh, just donating screws to the floor. Otherwise, I'll just get. Uh, a piece of clear acrylic or a plexiglass cut. What's that? So yeah, I uh, I won the only Benchies hat a couple weeks ago. I it, <laughs> truth. <laughs> the funny thing is, I wanted the polymake. I wanted the polymaker filament. This is all polymaker. This just seems to be what's available on Amazon, like all the time. At least here in Canada. Probably different brands in different countries. Seems weird putting these on at this point in the, in the build. The other thing I've got in, in design is I'm trying to figure out some type of switches. Put it in here. Um, the switches I've seen use like, like a cherry keyboard things, but I'm just think I would, I, what I've got so far is a, just a thing that plugs in here into the hexagon and just uses a micro switch it's the it's the Amaron switch that's not the right piece and that leaves a lot of space 
think, what have I done? A lot of space. Okay, we'll just average the space up between the two sides. Another thing I've really thought of doing. Discord link not working. very lonely place <laughs> I'll have to check to see oh hey welcome um, yeah it's a very quiet lonely place right now I didn't start doing like I, I've streamed for years literally for years I've been on YouTube since like 2014 but I didn't start in 3D printing and, and and stuff like that. I was I was basically a gamer who just happened to record it. Um, but you know, at one point I was like, yeah, can't do this anymore because I've got too much 3D printing stuff going on in my life. So I just sort of shifted focus and, and uh, I've been 3D printer building for a couple years now. Not building, but using. The building only started recently. And it's become somewhat of an addiction. And every printer I build, I want to, uh, I keep on wanting to do better, like, not. Make it look better. My, my, my ugliest printer, the 2.4, is, is definitely the most functional printer I've ever built. Oh, I haven't really put the, uh, the, uh, switch wire through its paces. I'm sure it's pretty, pretty solid. And hey, at 0 0.1, that's just fun. I know it, I, I, like, it prints functional parts. I can, I can seal that thing up, get it up over 60 degrees, no problem, but I almost have this this nagging feeling that well it's not just a nagging feeling it's it's I know that the parts I print on the 2.4 are just so much nicer but and, and you know uh, the funny thing is that this is the first printer I'm not rushing to the goal line I'm just going through building it at a leisurely pace and at the same time I'm adding my own adding myself to it if that makes any sense I'm trying to get uh, trying to do certain things that I would have just never done Of course, I have already failed at installing Stealth Burner. So, yeah, I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> I 
I don't get that. I really... I, I'm really confused about the whole... issue putting Stealth Burner on this. I... I do know that I printed the wrong, a, a wrong part. But the weird thing was... Even when I got the right parts printed, when I went to put it together, my BMG gear just moved back and forth. There was, there was no, I couldn't find any way to stop that from happening. So I'm really, really baffled with that. And of course my answer was, hey, we'll put a stealth burner on later. I can have afterburner on here and 40 minutes, so that's what we did. But I'm really kind of disappointed. Hey, printing sign. Same problem, eh, with the stealth burner? Yeah, it was uh, it was kind of surprising. And the funny thing is I did, you know, I'm gonna say it. I printed beta, it was beta six and beta eight of the front and back. It wasn't stealth burner, really. it was clockwork. Do, but um, I did mistakenly print the wrong parts, but they had the same issue. And it's almost like I'm starting to think I did something where when I pushed the bearing in, I like pushed a ring of plastic out that was printed to stop it from going in too far. Um, and then I ended up being able to push the bearing right through, and then it wasn't tight enough, and and that's sort of what I think I did. But again, I could be completely wrong. It's a beta product and... And yeah, it... <laughs> I've printed with it. I have, I have print... I have, I, I had it on my, uh, on my Ender 5 for... Like that was my, that's my experiment. I, I basically do most of my, or I used to do most of my experimenting on the Ender 5. I'm, I'm ready to retire that thing now. Um, not necessarily because I want to, but because I want the pie. I don't feel like I'm spending hundred dollars on a pie so I just took it out of the ender it was running clippy clipper clippy <laughs> clippy which would be that horrible Microsoft clip thing. it's not what I meant to say So we won't be putting the fans in today. The fans will skip. And we'll get those in after I can get the the uh, the screw in fan mounts printed. But we will get all the electronics mounted and probably even start running some of the wiring. I have built this little doodad. Um, this, I'm going to reprint it. Um, so this is basically just going to have all the wires coming off, all the connectors. Every, um, the extruder, extruder pieces can come out here. And where the hole doesn't exist here, that can have the, uh, the you know, temperature probe etc and then of course I forgot to put mounting on the bottom but I think I'm going to use that in my electronics base so that everything just goes to a central place immediately and then just bundles come out very clean and everything within cable uh, cable channels or at least that's the plan oops 
not what I want. Wow. Okay. The uh, the roll in T knots that came with the with the form bot or Vividino kit or Vividino I don't know. They're not very good. Got a big chunk out here. Something got stuck. Right behind the camera. Though. Right above the camera. Oh, you can hardly see it. That's good. Zip one, right? So yeah. All in all, I, I'm I'm really happy with the frame. Frames in LDO. I'm you know I, I guess the kit's okay. I wouldn't suggest somebody runs out and buys one of them though. Um I would Really suggest waiting for the LDO kit. Though they're having supply issues, so. What's going on here? Goes up and down. Cool. Done it again. At least the the uh, roll and tea nuts are in the same place. Hey, another. Another donation to the floor. <laughs> I was making this thing last night, designing or designing this last night. And I had the box of all these things on the on the desk in front of me as I was working and and I knocked all down. It's awesome. If you like that kind of thing. I still haven't cleaned it up. It's not on the floor anymore. But like when you do that, you're like, oh, damn. That's like... That's a half an hour of work to clean up. <laughs> so, yeah. Will I be more careful next time? Yeah, next time. Time after that? No. I don't know why my brain was thinking it was upside down. That's right.
There we go. Okay, so two more screws and we're ready to uh, put the, the other piece in here. What? What? Really? 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 Sorry. This is another one of those cases where every single, come on. Going up, I'm going up. Quick, going to the same page. No, that's not it. Every one of the, every references to an M3 nut, and then there's just one reference to M5 in here, or uh, M3 T nut. M3, M3, M5, just one. Okay, I just broke a $20 screwdriver. Funny how when you don't want them to come out, they're just popping out all over the place. But if you actually want one to come out, it's like, nope, never. Never ever coming out of this block. Now I will admit, that one was hard to get in. But, you know, this one's impossible to turn to. I still can't believe it after. Literally. Here. This is still an issue in the instructions. Where they blindly label everything the exact same look. So whether you're hitting a five or a three, they'll have like 14 of them on a page, and one of them will be a five. And, you know, for a, a human being to pick up on that. Not. Not, uh. Not good. And of course the instructions aren't open source. So you can't do anything about it either. But yeah, there goes my good hex screwdriver. Two millimeter. And uh, those are stuck in there. And I think what is worse is now we have to put fives in there. And they're ten times worse than threes. They'll damage stuff going in. Not just trying to get them out. And look at that, it dropped in like nobody's business. Yeah, yeah. Hey, May. Hey. Welcome to the stream. So there we go. 
fives are in there and like I said, they'll get stuck there. But this is this is this is the cheap Vividino kit causing these problems. The this would not be an issue with the, if I was using an LDO kit with with the, the T nuts that came with it. But I'm just using an LDO frame. So yeah, this is partially my, well, not, I was going to say my own doing, but no, these things wouldn't even work in their own frame, so. So not just me. Yeah, so I, yeah, I'm out of yellow. I have to uh, order more, print the, uh, the R2 parts. Or the, the R1 parts, sorry. Okay. There's that. Um, like I said, none of the rest of this is going in right now because I, I want the screw in fans. I don't want to be taping them in. What we are going to do right now, though, is install the plate at the bottom. I've never installed the bottom plate. I never installed it on my 2.4. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. Um, okay, they have hinges. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Don't know if I'm gonna use hinges. Hinges printed real good though. I, I, when I took these off the plate, I was like literally blown away. I'm going to have to print more of these. Because basically I want these not... Don't want hinges. We'll get these ones at the bottom put in. Do I stream on Twitch? Um, I, uh, my gaming streams, when I did gaming streams, I used to stream on Twitch. 
but I haven't streamed any uh, any uh, content on Twitch for oh I think I might have done some streams when Dying Light 2 came out but I think that was the last I just figured I'd leave my all my 3d printer content on 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 you I'm thinking I may make some other types of holders for this. This doesn't seem very solid. No, I, I, I they're not going to go anywhere. It's just... Oh, maybe it'll be fine. I just feel kind of weird holding the whole thing up with six of these. Well, I know what I'm going to be starting to print of. Okay. So now what we have is this. Which is not really held up properly. That's fine for now. Don't need to check. Yeah, that's what I need to do. Donate more screws or That seems pretty high, eh? Like, my whole hand under there. What I should have had was one set up on one mount and one set up on the other. So I could have tested and figured out, but you know. How's a human brain supposed to comprehend that? Hey. <laughs> yeah, that looks pretty crooked. So that's those. I think these might be better. Let's let's convert one of them over to the bigger ones and we'll see what happens. The only reason they work is because I flipped the screws. Used to have the lock nuts on the bottom. But once I put the the uh, button heads on the bottom and the lock nuts on the top 
bigger ones will work. Wow, it's a bad piece of stuff. Right through it. If I paid somebody to do that, I might be quite pissed off. I'm just disappointed. In myself, of course. Okay, so that's... Set. These are not set. That is a set. Oh, that's why that screw didn't work very well. to do this because I've only got four left. But especially because I need eight of them to hold these up. So being as I only have four left, that's going to be a problem. We're going to have to do something else. socket to hold these. Oh, come on. I'm going to scratch everything up. I'm going to destroy all your hard painting. Oh, come on. Really? That's not wreck at all. Not now. can't be that strong. I think that works. I don't, I don't get it. Like gravity would say that this should actually stay where it is. But every time I touch it, it just flips. See what I mean? Just flips forward. I guess you can't see what I mean. Because I don't have enough room. But I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> uh, why did I put the wrong ones on? Oh. 
there's no way those screws are the same size. These are two screws out of a bag from Vivid Vividino, Vividino, Formbot, which are supposed to be M38s. My conclusion? They're not. Not at all. What can I do about it? Nothing. Not at this point. Just hope it doesn't fall apart on me. weird I painted these at lunch yesterday they still smell like paint it's like literally been 26 hours hey Bruce I'm printer building still. How you doing? Okay, so this is going to drop in somewhere around there. That should work really well. What I want to do before I fasten any of that in there. I was really hoping that would be glossy. That's not glossy. Oh. There we go. And I'm not 100% sure where these need to go. So all our AC is going to be over there. You know what? Let's just line them up. Like that. We'll just figure it out from there. I think I need some of my own bolts now.
there's my M5 or the yeah M5 T nuts. There's eight. Um, socket head. M5. I think they're. It might be eight. Might be ten. I'm not sure. Oh no, did I do this wrong? Really hope not. It's not gonna work. So, I think what I've, I've done is I put the screw holes. Oh no, we're good, we're good. Where are we? I put the screw holes too close together. So I'll just use one of them on the other side. It's hard to see what's going on now, mainly because we're it's black on black. Okay, so what I want to do, just want a rough idea here between that's about 15 or 14 centimeters. No, it's at about 12. Oh no. There we go. Make sure that's straight.
factory. Okay, that's solid. I'm, I'm not, I was worried. I was thinking, okay, these are just gonna be wobbly. Do I need to build bigger braces? <clears throat> but no, that seems to be working really well. The one thing I don't know for sure though is if this is even where they're going. So, you know, we could be shifting them left or right at any point. I think I'm gonna go with all socketed bolts in here too just to give it that sort of look of being like industrial um, I have to print some braces to go here 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 and here I think I'm gonna print them in yellow um, and again I'll just I'll make them to look the same as as this like basically the top part of this and they'll just bolt in with socketed um, M5s. I know that seems wasteful, but um, why do I? That's an M3. Even I know that. I go over here. It. What's going on? What's going on? Moving it back and forth. You're not screwing into it? Oh, that's because you got the wrong screwdriver. That's me. That's me. My brain doing that. There we go. Okay. It's definitely crooked.
Okay, so now that we got that, and they are solid, like I have no problem connecting stuff up to there. Um, I guess this can go in. If it can be found. Not even the right one. Nice. I'd like to thank Formbot for making this kit such a piece of crap. <laughs> oh, did I say thank? What's the opposite of thank? So we can't power it. Sorry. That's not good. But at least we can pretend. And we can put all the other stuff in. I do have to reprint all that stuff. I don't know what color I want to do it. Okay, so power supply. You know, I've hit that like a two dozen times and I'm literally on the same page. Sorry. The button I'm talking about is the page up button. Every time I press page up, it shows me two, page 276. And then goes to the ne the page up, page 276, page 254, page 276, page 253, page 276, page 200. This is ridiculous. I just want to know what screws to use. I find it hilarious they they have it they literally come on I've already done this we're on page 245 now well no 253 246 239 what is going on <laughs> how is this a usable system this is this is just a PDF in a in uh, hitting page up and page down in Chrome and it's so unusable. I 
And now we're somewhere completely different. And all I want to know is what bolts I need to attach this. And here, here are the instructions. Somewhere here. Oh. M four by six. How long did that take? Oh man. Okay, there we go. There we go. Sorry. Now I do have a, have a modification or two when it comes to this too. I did I did print out the more robust version of the pie holder. Don't do that to me. Don't, don't, don't do that to me. I talked about doing that. Come on. Okay. That, that. I hope they sent extras. I really do, because that went in a place I can't get. Like that it literally bounced off this table, hit the mouse pad on the streaming computer desk, and, and bounced behind it. And it will stay there now forever. Until I move the streaming stuff. So let's hope they, they included an extra one. <laughs> This only needs one screw in each, really. I'm kidding. Okay, so that. You're gonna go something like that. Boom. Now we need the one for the RS-25. Um, I... I still don't know about the RS-25. I think I'm only putting it in because there's a possibility that I might want to run some uh, lighting off. I don't see myself powering the pie with it, though. Don't see that happen. Okay, so that's not. What I'm looking for is button or 
Yeah, button three fixes. There we go. I'll be that. And I'll just clip it in place. It's going to go about there. We'll have a, uh, a wire channel down here bringing the live to here. Be another one coming up here bringing the live to this and to, to this. Now, this has a has a clip you know I don't understand why they go the, to the expense of including this clip maybe because it's metal and that's grounded so what is that that's probably the other fours So there's that. We have these. So I have a ground mount with two ground that I'm going to distribute the ground to everything else with. Um, these are all backwards. So I will basically start with attaching the ground here when I go to do it and it'll get basically grounded to the din rail and then these So let's get that in. Um, so that should be grounded now. What's going on here? Why isn't that connecting up? Okay, there we go. Okay, so that's that. Now I need to, I've got three couplers here. Which are basically gonna go in there. There. And there. Um, so that'll join our grounds to each other. 
We'll join the lives and the neutrals to each other. And then I'll just have a jumper from the primary physically grounded item to the shared ground. And that can go from here to there, here to there, here to there. And then our power can go from, you know, our live can go here, it can go up to the bed, it can, you know, it can do all the things it needs to do from there. So that should take care of all that. I don't think you could see all that. There we go. This block here, take care of all the power distribution. Way, way over there at the other side. This is not the pie you were looking for. That's the pie we need. So now we're looking for the... The heavy duty pie pie holder and we need a couple of generic clips That's probably going to work better. Come on. Literally. One, two, three. It, I can count to three before the page changes. One, two. One, two. Like it, it's just awful. Nice, nice. And then they don't even show you. They just show the pie being put on. Ah! I just don't understand how there can be so many pages and yet so little information. And no, no, it's it's not there at all. So they've sent some basic uh lie can't see it m210 no no these are not m210 they're li literally garbage you sent me garbage there's no way in the world that self-tapping screws are of any use with phillips screw heads in them I really wish these companies would stop sending me the wrong thing. Because every single time I've got to go and use the ones that I bought because they keep sending me the wrong thing. That never changes. So yeah, um, yeah. Phillips screwdriver head ones are absolute garbage. If you want to ruin your day, use those. And they're not just junk. They're not just bad. They're just garbage. They, they will literally go in four or five turns and strip. And you'll never get them out again. So what I suggest... Packing up a package of real M210 
two self-tapping screws. And you just save the, the total hassle of, of screws that don't work. So again, FormBot has swapped something else in that they felt was suitable for a product that is completely unsuitable for the, what they're doing. Just like the, uh, the power plug. Which I don't know if I'm gonna have to go buy another one, or if I'm actually gonna have to go print another thing for it. But if I have to print, <laughs> if I have to print another one, that means I'm gonna have to go buy more, more filament. So that that's a thirty dollar expense for me. I got some M two sixes here that the tens I'm gonna use for the. For the bottom piece. Oh, cooperate. It seems it's not worth the not worth it. I'll use it for the for the circuit board. They're not sticking here. They're not catching the piece on the back. I was just hoping to save some of the uh, the real real ones. So that's the other thing I noticed about this. With things mounted like this, I'm gonna have the fans blowing right on the drivers. Nice. Love that. Wouldn't mind it so much if they were magnetic. But they're not. Oh well. I'll get over it. I do wonder though, how long is it going to take me to finish this printer? The way I'm going at it. Fighting gravity the whole way. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I did. And every time I just swap out the out the bag. Though I will admit, my uh, LDO my LDO kit came with uh, the right screws. You know what? Really, I, I there's only one problem I had with the LDO kit, and that was that those wire labels that they used on all the wires, the plastic, whatever they were made out of, was way too hard for wire label. They used on all the wires, especially the what had to go underneath the uh, the wire cover. It made it an absolute nightmare. Something that should have been very simple and easy to put a wire cover on to fit all that stuff under there. Those hard plastic wire co wire labels made it really difficult. But, you know, other than that, 
with the with the LDO kit, I thought the uh, the extrusions were very nice, um, and I thought the um, I thought the the uh, surface of the the acrylic was nice too. Very nice finish. So yeah, it definitely, it was definitely better than my two, uh, my uh, my 0 0.1 kit from Thornbot. I'm not making any comments about my 2.4 kit. Because you know, I'm gonna say it, that thing has been so, it, it, it's a beast. It's, it's got, 1300 hours of print in four months. Yeah, it's got 1300 hours of printing in four months. I could not be happier with the outcome from that build. So yeah, I went and I found myself a supplier for uh, bolts and screws on on AliExpress, um, Xiaomi or something like that. But here, if I were to go buy a bolt, let's say an M10, M510, that one bolt would cost me 40 cents. So to buy 50 of them would basically cost 20 bucks where I can buy 50 of them for a dollar 50 um, on from this this supplier so I've been really really happy with them and you know when out on AliExpress if you if you go to one supplier and you buy everything you buy tax more and more shipping on it like no just just uh, put everything to zero shipping and only put the shipping you want on one of them and uh, so I end up buying hundred and seventy dollars spending hundred and seventy dollars and and just ending up with a lifetime supply of all these bolts uh, that I'm you know, won't have to renew for years so well I guess that's not really true I probably didn't spend that much the first time but I, I am going to spend that much soon. I might have spent $70 the first time. So I went in, in between and figured out everything that I didn't have. Started tacking those all on so that I could just order everything. Okay, so this, I want this to go like that. I want the drivers to be next to the fan. So that goes like that. And these are different screws.
I still haven't decided, like, I see the trim on the, on the power supply. I haven't decided whether I'm going to do that for everything else. Awesome. That's really what I wanted to do. Get everything all lined up, get the screws in, and then drop it so it can fill out. Yay, I accomplished. I accomplished all over the place. My guess is these are threaded. Could be wrong. I could totally be wrong. Oh well, I put it on backwards. Nobody will know, it's upside down. It's not really backwards. I put it on the other way from the other things I put on. That, that would be the best way to put it. It's not backwards, it's just a different right way. See, I've been, uh, um, so the first things I ordered for this, I ordered 24 to 5 volt converters so that I wouldn't have to use the power supply. I ordered the Trident backers because I found the backers on my 2.4 uh, between the backers and Clippy. Clicky, sorry, I gotta stop saying Clippy. Every time I say it, my brain goes, uh. Um, Clicky, that was the best mods I did to that printer. It made it into like a printing beast that just prints anything no problem um, so I sort of wanted to start with all that stuff here Okay, so that's roughly where those are gonna go. This may be down here a little bit further. Uh, like that. And our next step, of course, is going to be making some cable routing decisions. And that will go right underneath that motor. Then all our all our uh, our motor wiring. I'll have to take a Dremel and cut that up. So all our motor wiring can go down 
through here into here from here into here this one will have to come right around I'm gonna guess that they have not provided the wires to do this If I cut these, I'll be able to like have half on one side and half on the other. Not sure what to do with this one. And then of course this once it's done in its final iteration. Sit up there. That's what we're gonna end up with. All the driver wires going into this channel here, right up here, here, somewhere through here. I think I'm going to have to run um, like this down here. This one, I'll have to cut them to go across the, the gap, off across the dins. And then this. I can use these. Hold the uh, hold the wire. -er. I don't know what I'm going to call this. So that's going to be nice and clean. All the wires can come in here, go here, and just drop right into this. The extra the extruder wires can come out into this channel here and connect to here. The uh, fan and temperature wires can all come out this side into here and connect up to here. Um, power, all that can come out the bed, the print bed, the actual power. I'm not sure about the uh, the display yet, but I'm thinking maybe I can just route those down into here and maybe have one of these cut and a piece that fits in in down here. So I do need to print more of these because um, they're going to come in very handy. So that is basically what we're going for there. Um, you know, now that I think about it, maybe this can actually run between here and here. And then these can just drop down and go straight to the display. So I, I want to stick all this down right now, but at the same time, I don't, I fear sticking it all down. <laughs> I know it's dumb, but 
It's got to be done, I guess. I did get the other blue filament in from Amazon today. Nice job. Thanks, form bot. Seriously. Ah. So, yeah, I'm going to have to go out and uh, buy... I'm just going to buy a clear acrylic panel. For this. So that's all clear. I might print some edges edging decorative edging to put around it but I, I'm at this point I'm like yeah I don't want this on my printer like that might look fine but it's totally bent like and I mean totally bent um, like so much so that yeah, no matter what I do, I guess I can melt it with a heat gun. I'm never going to get it the way I want it. Because I think it was bent in there. And shipping for, I don't know. So yeah, there, I, I, I'll buy a new one. I'll buy a new acrylic panel. Something I can see through. And that way we can see all that in there. And basically, that's what the inside of our printer will look like. Um, I don't know if anybody has seen my switch wire. Um, how I built the... Uh, what would you call it? The vanity, the vanity cover for the wiring. Which was basically panels clipped on to the clipped on and covered all the wiring guides. Um, I may do the same here. Of course, that's going to take some design time. But I think right now, I think right now, I need to go and I need to print more of these. I'm, I'm running a little short. Now that I know where everything's attaching, I need to finish the design of this. Um, I need to get the wiring all soldered on to the connectors and replace the connectors in, in, in this. Um, and then basically build my wiring harness, my internal wiring, wiring harness from this to here. Now, let's just do a quick sanity check here. Because, you know, Vividino. Here we go. Here's our Z motor wires. Now, my guess is as far as these are going to reach is like the middle. If you were to plug all these into the thing, the only place where you can put your board is right in the middle. I'm sorry, but that's probably the truth. So in the case of this, we're fine. We can just run it down here and in. In the case of this one, we are also fine. This can just be run through this guide here and to where it needs to go. But now we run into this where there's no way in the world we're going to be fine. I don't think. I plug that in there. I, there's no way I can make... There's no way in the world, other than just going across the whole damn thing, that I can make it to the Z, Z motor attachment. So that's what you get when you buy Vividino. Or Formbot. Is basically the lowest common denominator. You need... 
you need to have this and these wires, well, guess what? We're gonna give you wires that barely, barely reach where you wanna put that. They don't reach where you wanna put it. Um, so I had the same problem with my 2.4, and I still hate, I absolutely hate the inside of my 2.4. I just, I dread working on it. So I'm just not gonna let that happen here. Um, and the good thing is, of course, once I have this in service, I can start, I, and, and this is a fully functional printer that it can do everything my 2.4 could do. I can start upgrading the 2.4. So I'm gonna look forward to that. Definitely look forward to that. Um, but I think today, or at least for this part of today, I'm gonna call it quits because I need to go print some stuff. I know it's a short stream, I was thinking four hours. Um, so what I may do is I may get all this stuff ready and printed and I might start another stream this evening. Or if, if it goes long, I might end up printing all day um, and, and just streaming again tomorrow. If I can't get everything printed, I'm going to stream tomorrow anyway. Um, cause of all the things that are, are still done and need to be done or still, did that make sense? No, that did not make sense. That, did, that wasn't even English. Um, so that was bad. Okay, hey, camera GoPro. Um, so I printed these. These are from the R1 release and they are the top pieces and the bottom piece for the for these. Um, I'm gonna replace all this. I don't like the way they printed. They are also a mod, not the R1 version of the idlers. So I'm gonna reprint. I, I've got the reprints for the top and the bottom. I just need to reprint bottom and the top. That makes any sense. It's the bottom on one, it's the top on the other. It's the same STL. I need two of them. And the other thing I'm, I'm going to reprint is this and this. Can't see that, can you? Um, I'm going to reprint these. I don't like the way they turned out. They actually turned out awful. Don't like the way that looks. And I'm at that print, that point in my printer building where that matters. That can matter to me. I'm not just trying to build something functional, functional. I'm not, I'm trying to build something functional and aesthetically pleasing to me. I don't care what anybody else thinks. So I'm going to leave this here. Um, and go get some of those things ready. I may be back later today, but I'm more likely to be back tomorrow when I have all the braces for the top. And I am sure that I've got all the stuff I need in order to do the wiring. So thanks for coming everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's a little different than what, what I've done in the past. Um, but I do think that um, we, I can really add something when it comes to building printers. Maybe not, not everybody has done. I'm insane. Crooked. Everything crooked. Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll see everybody in the next stream, hopefully. Bye.